What's up guys, it's Peruvian's finest with the newest Savage Strike American Edition Special Edition. And the most probably anticipated set due to the rise of Phantasme, which is like a hundred bucks right now. Borlo Savage is still like 20 bucks. People wanted the reprint. That way we can get cheaper versions of this. Same thing with the pot. As for the promos, they're pretty crappy. Uh, we do get one uh, version exclusive, the V-Jump promo with a White Dragon. One that we haven't got in any way. You can only get them through here, so I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll open up these right now and see how many promos we get of each. But usually there shouldn't be a that much of a difference. Like there's no short print promos or anything. And I'll show you the promos up close in a bit. Let me just get all of these open. Uh, the set itself has sold out pretty much everywhere, like distributor-wise. Um, not many, I mean, like all the places that I check don't have the box anymore. And if they do have the box, you'll probably find them for like seventy dollars plus. And it makes sense. A lot of people are playing the new Solomon Great back which requires the rare card from the set the sunlight wolf that's going for like nine ten dollars just for rare and then you have some of the foils which are pretty cool like the guard dragon which is like five bucks the savage dragon which is like 20 the coral bane trick star which is like eight dollars and then the secrets obviously there's some popular ones obviously the phantasme uh what else the wheel the pot, and then some sleeper cards like Witch's Strike and other cool stuff. So, that's done. I'm gonna open one special edition in the video, and I'll see if you guys are interested. I'll open a second one probably tomorrow, because I don't have much time today. I got a jam after this video. So. Here it is, all the packs to open up. And then the promos. Uh, we got the Crimson Heart, which uh, you can only obtain through the jump. Now, European players also can obtain this card since over there they can obtain jump cards. And it looks like you get five copies. So if you open up full display, you're more than likely to get five of each promo and then you get the new grid sweeper this is supposed to come out in darkness neil storm uh the face-up card is if a face-up spell card is in any field zone you can source some of this card from your hand and then balance this card in your graveyard to add one link once you control the story one card your opponent controls so this one's pretty cool and you get five of these i'm assuming Uh, looks like you get six of these actually. So, six of these. You get the new White Dragon Rose. This is the card of that we can't get anywhere else. We can only get them through the special edition. So, this probably might be the card to uh, invest on if you guys are wanting to invest in something. Uh, and yeah, you can read the effect. Pretty long effect. Uh, I've heard this card is pretty popular for the people trying to build uh, Black Rose decks. And this one you get five copies. And it looks like we only got four copies of the new Yuki Somei, the Maikashi one. Um, this one, it will also come out in Darkness Neon Storm. Usually the pattern with these ones is you get these in common in the next set, but they release it uh, a couple months in advance for us to play with just to see how it does. And yeah, we'll open up these packs real quick and see what we get. And this is a box of 30 packs, so see what the ratios are. I know um, uh, booster box ratios from what we've seen, like people who pull, like Sunlight Wolf, for example, usually in a box, you'll average about zero to two of them per box. And nothing more than like two. I haven't seen a box where people have opened like three Sunlight Wolves, so it's an average about of those per box. Then you get your two secrets per box, and you get your four ultras per box. So it'll be kind of cool to see uh, 
but what kind of stuff we can get in the special edition because the special edition doesn't have any set ratios at all it can be anything you can pull like all supers you can pull like five secrets so cool cool about it and you get six packs so the cool part about this is like um uh you can like pull um how do you say There's no defined stuff where you can pull. Like, you can pull different stuff. But, um... Uh... Damn, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, but uh, as for the rares, too, like, the set is, like, real rounded, too. Like, for the rares, like, Fusion of Fire is, like, two bucks. The Chimera is, like, a dollar. The Haitz is, like, 50 cents. Like, cards that people want to use or people that are buying because they don't have... Uh, yeah, so far two ultras, pretty bad ultras. Oh, three ultras so far, pretty bad ones at that. Oh, there's our first sunlight wolf. Let's see if you guys can see the sunlight wolf. Popular card. We pull another ultra, so that's our second one. A sheer Nui Supremacy. And usually, oh, I guess uh, I remember what I was gonna say. So like how usually, how booster boxes were really popular because you get the set ratios. Um, uh, with this one, you're paying about the same price as you were for a booster box, but instead, um, you're also paying for six more packs and a whole bunch of like promos, so that's a really good value. And usually, it's good to wait for special editions to come out. We pull the second one. It's usually good to wait until we get a special edition. That way, you get more value out of your book. And we pull a secret. Pull Life Sage. That's one secret. I pull that. And this is American print, so you guys can see what the kind of the ratios are. When you open American products, because I know there's some out there that's just all European. So you guys are interested, this is the American one. They pull the fifth ultra, which is a TG Star Guardian. So we're pulling all the garbage ultras, that's pretty bad. <laughs> we pulled another secret, which was the 3G Trident Launcher. Well, the cool part about this is, uh, I think this card is like really cheap. This is like a dollar. It's probably it's probably a good card to invest on, to be honest. Oh, back to back secrets, which is strike. So see, uh, usually in a regular booster box, you'll pull about two secrets. This one you already got three. The grants are there pretty bad, but still, that's already good value. And the last pack could be another secret. Nope, just that. So you get your stack of commons. Uh, we got two Sunlight Wolves, which is retail about $18. And then we pulled our Riches Strike, our TG's Trident, and our Life Stage with these Ultras right here. And then just all these Supers. And you pull, uh, yeah. As you can see, this is a pretty bad box. This is uh, it's like $18. It's like nine, that's 27, 29, 30, like $30. So this one you hella neck, but still, you know, this is what the ratios are, let's see. Yeah, I will be up opening up another box probably tomorrow. If I do have time, for some reason, I'll probably upload it today. So yeah, later you do.